Recent accidents and mysterious deaths in the Dominican Republic have just peaked and hit the headlines. Now I'm scared of the fact how much power and control the media has over our brains, freedom and the way of thinking. The truth is that almost nobody tries to read further down the headlines, not to speak about reading between the lines. The media takes advantage of this well-known fact professionally to brainwash the crowd and get their paycheck. Now let's go down to wire. Recently, we have had a lot of very negative news about the Dominican Republic. What is really going on in the tropical paradise? I'll start it with an article dated by July 23, 2018, published by New York Times. Horrible picture, isn't it? What does it have to see with the reality? Yes, that was a case in some part of Santo Domingo, affected by heavy rains. The water goes up in slums, and here we go. The biggest thing here is that the affected area is situated 124 miles from the touristic zone. How is it relevant to tourism, if so? Facts. Number one, it's absolutely nothing to do with the touristic area. The fact is, there is no even a beach in Santo Domingo. Two, it was nothing to do with any resort or beach. Three, the affected area is less than 1% of whole ocean area of the island. The tourist perception, the whole country is in the plastic. Result, media goal achieved. You might think that the author of this video is a cruel animal without heart and soul. Some facts from Washington Post. Quote, Lawrence Daly told her story publicly four months after it happened, when the resort refused when it says a demand from her 2.2 million compensation agreement, Majestic said. Immediately after mentioning it, Lawrence Daly's alleged request, the hotel also noted that she works in the insurance sector and provided a link to her LinkedIn page. End of the quote. Quote, in its statement, the resort cast doubt on Loris Daly's version of events. Although she said that the stranger grabbed her around 11 p.m., the resort said her husband reported her disappearance at 2.30 a.m. Quote, Majestic said it called local police paid for Lawrence Daly's room and prepared special means, meals for her because she was having trouble eating solid food. Lawrence Daly declined to make any legal accusations to the U.S. Embassy, the resort said. Quote, Norman De Castro, one of the hotel lawyers, told the Washington Post that Lawrence Daly declined to cooperate with a criminal investigation into the case, including refusing to sign a complaint. Facts. She claimed 2.2 million. Number two, she works in insurance sector. Number three, three and a half hours difference between the moment when a stranger supposedly grabbed her and the moment when her husband reported it. Number four, she rejected to make any accusations to local police. Number five, she declined to make any accusations to the U.S. Embassy, the tourist perception. The Dominican Republic is a dangerous destination for tourists. Result, hundreds of thousands tourists cancel their trips to the Dominican Republic and lose their money making conclusions from just article headlines. Now let's get down to pesticide. 
poisoning. The resorts use intensive chemicals for gardening and all the time and all over the world. Why? Because most tourists want to avoid meetings with ants and bugs. Otherwise, they, the hotel chains, will have a negative reviews affected by hotel reputation. Even if a hotel is located in the middle of the jungle, people expect it to be completely sterile and free from insects. However, if you suffer from allergy, you may have an allergy syndrome due to fumigation of vermins. This is why some visitors prefer apartments to luxurious hotels. Hotels are doing great things just trying to comply with the customer desires throughout the world. Just want to bring one quote from Fox News. Pesticide poisoning happens in the US in even more often in developing countries where pesticides are less regulated. Death is always a destroying place of the news for family. Still, there are some facts. First, there is still no proper investigation conducted. The government of the Dominican Republic asked for FBI assistance to investigate the intoxication case. That happened in La Romana. Quote, Dominican authorities have asked for FBI assistance for further toxicology analysis of the recent Bahia principle. Second, we still don't know what was the culprit and what food or beverages people had consumed before the tragedy. Quote, now over a dozen more visitors who felt dangerously ill on the vacation in the Dominican Republic are coming forward. Where? How do you know they are coming? What is this story behind this statement? Any facts? The tourist perception. I may be killed by something like that in the Dominican Republic. I want my money back. No vacation this year. I'm going to different direction. The goal of media is achieved. Result. Tourists cancel vacation. Lost money. Lost expectations. Lost experiences. Some articles do not feature any specific information. Any thus making the whole case mysterious. Mass media is brilliant at this. This is what I like the most about recent articles. First, make up astonishing headlines. The more deaths, blood, mystery and intestines you add, the more eyeballs you have. People love negative information. We were created for survival. Negative thinking was crucial. The media is always happy to use this fact to their advantage. The David Ortiz case. It was very sad. It definitely adds up fuel to the fire. Just for the sake of fact. Look where Santo Domingo and where Punta Cana area where is the most resorts located? Facts. It has nothing to do with the tourism or touristic areas. It's just one of the type of cases happening daily all over the world, both in developed and developing countries. Time quote. It's the mystery around deaths that is driving the speculation. American tourists pass away frequently around the world, several in a day. It's not an unusual, but it's unusual hearing about that and hearing about Americans passing away abroad without it being something like a terrorist attack. We usually don't hear about tourists dying of heart attacks or in their sleep, but that happens every day with tourists traveling abroad. It is nothing unique to the Dominican Republic. Result. Cancelled vacations. Lost money. Lost ex expectations. Who has already won from all this media buzz? 
of course, other touristic destinations. It won't be a surprise for me to learn that someone is sponsoring the campaigns against the Dominican Republic. According to MyPost.com, the Dominican Republic has already lost 74% of tourists from the US and Canada. Guess what? Other destinations experienced an amazing, surprising growth. But give me a chance to add one more piece of news to this mass media fire. Sounds like all the news reached the climax for the one more reason. China opens embassy in the Dominican Republic. Quote, U.S. Ambassador Robin Brenstein said on Thursday in their first public appearance back in the Dominican Republic that she has been asked about China's role in the region while in the Washington and that she hoped countries were considering their long-term goals. In a statement on Thursday, the U.S. Embassy in El Salvador lamented that countries in the region were deepening ties to unfamiliar partners and engaging in transactions that lack transparency. Conclusion The modern plague is worry and anxiety. Inability to relate facts and read more than just headlines has caused cancellations of trips, vacations, made concern and tension. Stop this outbreak of panic. Open your eyes to bold facts. According to the leading travel site Virtuoso, Dominican Republic is a top summer travel destination. The travel resource detailed Dominican Republic has experienced a 58% year-over-year increase in summer travel reservations. The publication also named Dominican Republic as one of the top family-friendly. That is what is true. If you really care about your security, just think through what are you doing? What kind of activities are you planning to do? What is in your agenda? Make our medical checks before going on vacation. I'm not talking only about the Dominican Republic. I'm talking about the vacation in general. Check, do your medical checks and think when you're going on vacation what you can do and what you should avoid. Don't think that you can do all crazy stuff here in the Dominican Republic. You can, you know, mix alcohol with drugs, party like crazy without any kind of uh, problems for your health, especially if you have some kind of health issue, issues. My story. Most of our guests from the US and Canada are brilliant people. And I must admit that they are kind, cheerful and generous. With most of the tourists, we read the same books, we share similar views. I will mention one story, not a big deal, just one story. I will be short and precise as I can. It was the biggest security case in my hosting experience. I still remember the case when we had a visit from flight attendants. It was horrible. They were drinking and partying like crazy. But it's all good, except one thing. They started to do complete mess with the residents. It was multiple issues with security. It was mul multiple issues with neighbors. One of them got completely drunk and started urinating on the stairs, on the public stairs. So it was a lot of issues with the security. It was a lot of issues with the neighbors. They didn't pay their bill at the nearest restaurant, but it ended up then when one of them got completely drunk and started to fight the police officer outside of the residence. Just imagine what happened to me if I do half 
of mentioned somewhere in the United States or Canada or somewhere in Europe. I guess nothing good. For more than 10 years, I live in this tropical paradise. I love the Dominican Republic. I love local people. And of course, we love our guests from the United States and Canada. And it's an easy math. If it wasn't safe here, I wouldn't be here. And my family wouldn't be here. My kids wouldn't be here. It's pretty easy. So welcome to the Dominican Republic. Welcome to Punta Cana. <laughs>